last episode uh, kind of ended on a sad note, but uh, we decided to do one more episode. Yeah, just uh, fuck you. Um, we're not recording tomorrow for the people, just to give you behind the scene movie magic, but we are recording on the day after, so. So. Uh, put your ink ribbon back in there, and then. Yeah. We should be on our merry way. Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> Didn't you say- What do you mean? You're the guide master. Did you pick up the wolf metal? The wolf what? The wolf metal. What it, wolf it, metal? It fell down from the bookshelf when we were fighting Yon. I got the book from the bookshelf. Uh, When it's dead, it'll knock a book off the bookshelf, pick it up, examine it, and- Oh, you have to examine the book. Uh, am I, I supposed okay. to have the wolf metal? Yes. Oh, okay. I believe so. The book has the best title known to man. <laughs> Last book, Last book, volume two. <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't technically the last, last book. Um, Continuing from this thing that I've been doing. Uh, You're just listing out everything on the Game Boy Advance. I'm not going to keep on listing which were on which, but um, I'm going to just name out some of the shows. Johnny Bravo. I, I, did you ever, did you like Johnny Bravo? Um, I didn't really watch Ex Boomerang. Examined. I mean, I didn't watch Boomerang when it was Tom and Jerry, but... Uh... Work in the words on the cover, man. Eagle South of... Eagle, Eagle South, South Wolf of, of North. South Wolf of North. Um... Check the side? No, the other side. The way that you would open a book. Alright. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Who did this? <laughs> Who did they this? They did five minute hacks on how to hide hide, hide money. <laughs> uh, Dexter's Laboratory. I fucked which with I Dexter. Like. Um, the Grim I mean, Adventures of Billy and Mandy, which is fucking sick. Goat. Goat show. Um, Codename Kid Next Door. Also which you did, a goat show. Which you did your cosplay as. <laughs> that was bad. Um, Larry never put that up. Don't put that up, Larry. Um, Lilo and Stitch and Kim Possible. I don't... Kim Possible was a good show. I didn't super watch it much. I did I forgot Lilo it. and Stitch had its own show. I didn't. I watched that. I watched that, like, a lot. Religiously. <laughs> um, I fucked with Lilo and Stitch wait, we're on supposed the heavy. to put the metal away? We are? Oh, okay, let me read you what it says. When it's dead, it'll knock a book off the bookshelf. Pick it up and examine it and get the wolf metal. Go to the save room where you get the canteen. Put the metal away. What the oh. fuck? Bro. You can't uh, hurt holding it around. Pick up the herbs if you need them, but keep in mind you'll need spaces open at least two. Now, how many? Open I'm up good. Okay. I don't think I need to put it back. No, you you don't need the metal. That's why. I, I know I don't need it, but... Ah, I have to walk downstairs. I'd, I'd rather have an extra space open. I'd rather have an extra space open just in in the event that um we need a health item. I thought Resident Evil was like known for like the door jump scares, but we haven't had a single one. I think that's only on hard. Who the fuck plays on hard anyway? I think we're playing on normal. I, I I've had conflicting conflicting evidence depending on. <laughs> What what part of the walk that I'm reading? It's okay. Um, <laughs> what if we're playing on extra super hard and we're just somehow godly? We somehow made Definitely it this way. Definitely not. Um, we're the worst at this game. I'm terrible at this game. I got better. We all get better. Put the metal away. Make sure there will be a hunter. Then head up the stairs. Turn left. Walk until you turn the corner. Keep going. Enter the door. Pick up the herbs. What door? What door are you talking about? Which door are we talking about? Then head upstairs and turn left. Walk until you turn the corner. I think it's talking about the uh, little... Remember that place where we went to the eagle room? To the eagle room? Yeah. Was it, it was in that. This? It was right next... Not there. Go back the way you came. Oh, through the door? Yeah. Because remember, we, a there's a thing in the upstairs. Sec it was one of the doors. Um, I think it was 
What the fuck is Brandy and Mr. Whiskers? Oh, that that one was good. Um, it was like a rabbit in a and a bunny, and the rabbit was like on coat twenty four seven, and the the bunny no, it was a dog. It was a dog, not a bunny. It was a dog girl. Animated and she was sitcom. A brat. Slice of life. Surrealism. Slapstick. Where are you going? Go to the save room. What? Go to the room of the save room. Oh yeah. But uh, oh. that show that show slapped. I, I. That show's kind of slapped. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna front. I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> you think you anyone has like walked through the room, made like the actual map, and like like saw like it like uh, rooms were overlapping? I don't know. Do you think anyone did that? Maybe. Because if, if I was a game developer, I wouldn't care. Oh, yeah, I, right? No, don't I go in there. I think you're going through the other other door. The door I tried to go through that had the ominous music? I believe so. I think that's the same hallway, is it not? Hold on. Head upstairs, walk until you turn the corner, keep going and enter the door, pick up the herbs if you need them to keep them lying on these two spaces, go through the next door, and push the statue you see in the opening to the left. Hmm. The walls will close in on you, but as long as the statue's there, you'll be fine. Oh, wait, this is the... Yeah. So, do I have to do the... I don't the know The armor thing going. all over? I don't know where we're going. They didn't say the armor thing? It said, yeah, you have to push a statue, but I don't know where we are or where we're going. The statue is in one of these doors, and not the one I came from, so I'm guessing... That's the one this? you came from, isn't it? Mm, this door looks different, I think. I believe that's the one you came from. Yep. <laughs> oh, my memory ceases to amaze me. <laughs> Your lack of it? Yes. Dora the Explorer. I think... Which... F fuck Dora the Explorer. I watched... Did you watch Go Diego Go? Go Diego Ho was a hit. I watched Dora more than Go Diego Go. Well, it was on more. I think that's the wrong room. Um, Dragon Ball GT got more than one volume. Oh my god, on the game. The true way to watch Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh no, it only got one. That's weird. Fairly Odd Parents, which is a pretty good show. There's a lot of Game Boy Dragon Ball games, though. Insane amount. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is only the beginning. So I think... Hold on. Um... Mm? Nani? Hmm? Hmm? Didn't you say to push in a uh, armor? Yeah, that's what I read. There's no need to take this anymore. Okay. Oh, push oh. this armor in? Is it that one? Can you go through? Oh, can you go through, this through another room? I don't know. We're figuring this out. Push that bookshelf. Yeah, push it. I want to see. Push it which way? I'm the only one. Doesn't way you work can. that way. Not that way. Okay, so go through there, I guess. Collection of philosophy. They're all about the eternal question of life and death. Cool. What am I missing here? I don't know. Because this is where we killed the. Yeah, that's where you killed Yawn. The snake. Fuck, what the fuck? <sighs> <sighs> Intro to darkness and redness to whiteness. I think this is a <laughs> no, to the Tobuskis vlog intro. Oh my god. Did you watch Tobuskis? I did. I didn't. I will admit that. I didn't. And then when he went through his whole shit, I was like, cool, don't care. <laughs> He's goat. <laughs> um. <laughs> He's not goat. My bad. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> <laughs> But I did stop watching him like a long ass time ago. Mm. Bro, his Minecraft series went on for like so long. There's so many parts. I didn't watch it all the way, but that shit was insane. Uh, Resident Evil I did, maps. I did watch his like literal trailers though. What the fuck? He's he's good music, like music wise. Like he knows how to make a song, a catchy song. Hold on. No, I'm going to read this again. 
go to the save room where you got the canteen, put the metal away, make sure you have spaces open, the more the better. There will be a hunter near the save room door, blast it, there's another upstairs if you're playing a normal hard. Head up to the stairs and turn left. Walk until you turn the corner. Keep going and enter the door. Pick up the herbs if you need them, but keep in mind you'll need spaces open, at least two. Go through the next door and push the statue you see in the opening to the left. So in here? There's no... This? This statue? I don't know. Or this statue. I can't even go to that side of the... Wait, hold this on. There, the curtain. There's a curtain. Does that do anything? No. Press X? I'm pressing X on... On the curtain. I did. You what? think, oh, he would tell me to look at the curtain and not press X? Look, man. <laughs> We're figuring this out, alright? Bro, what the fuck? What is going on in this Miami? This is... Um... Very confusing. Especially confusing since this walkthrough is not very good. <laughs> Larry, pause. <laughs>
We need especially the beginning of the last episode. <laughs> Where we constantly restart the episode. Yeah. Uh Super Robot Monkey Team Hyper Force Go. That that show was top tier. I don't know what this is. So slept on. It was on JetX. Commonly known by its acronym, too many letters, is an American Japanese anime <laughs> influenced television show created by Ciro Nielli, one of the directors of Teen Titans. It was like this one teenager who had these special powers and his like his like allies were just a bunch of mon different colored monkeys. What the fuck? They're like robot monkeys. What? <laughs> that show was so <laughs> sick. There was also a Puka. Oh yeah, Larry. Puka? When we came when it? we came back, uh, make sure to put up the Loose and Harlock podcast logo. Thank you, Larry. Puka, Puka was another banger on JetX. JetX had a lot of like underrated bangers on. I it. remember JetX for uh, doing reruns of Batman the Animated Series. That's what I watched it on. Yeah. Um, let's see what. Uh, because that it used to be Fox Kids JetX, but then they switched over. Teenage and Fox Kid had Batman the Animated Series. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think it's a 2003 one. Um, there was a one where they were like traveling through time. TMNT. No, 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 no. Not, not the movie. Ro Robot Monkey Team. The TV show. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. There was like a, a show, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle show. That I think it was later on, like maybe around 2006. This one. Where they were like traveling through time. This one was a. This one came out between 2003 to 2010. So. I think the time one was a sequel to it, maybe. Uh. I don't know. It says. Hold on. Uh, Ninja Tribunal season six. Fast forward. Let's let's read about this real quick. Um, blah, blah, blah. season one. Okay. Uh, I'm scrolling. Right, the show is uh, another top top tier show on Cartoon Network let's for see. sure. Season five, Ninja Tribunal, season six. The turtles are in the future. New enemies are seen. Most of the old characters are not in the season at all. The turtles and splinters have different designs in the season. I don't know. Remember when they try to make the Looney Tunes into like ninjas? What? It was a show. I forgot what it was called. It wasn't called like Looney Tunes. It was like I just searched like Looney Tunes like ninjas reboot or something. Let's see what this is. New Looney Tune Looney Tune Ninja. Um, I'm gonna just type in Looney Tune Ninja. Why did that? Oh, because I pressed the home thing. Looney Tunes. Uh. Ninja. They're like ninjas or something. Wait, hold on. Was it Lunatics Unleashed? Yeah, Lunatics. Oh my god. I, this is awakening something I have not. Oh my god. I think it was on CW Kids. Bro, CW Kids had a lot of insane shows. What was that? Was Jackie Ch Chan Animated Adventures. Did you watch that? That was sick. <laughs> um, listen. Uh, Jake, uh, Jake Long. American Dragon. Uh, American Dragon. Yeah. Listen, I'm not a furry, but um, <laughs> this bro, this pink bunny, <laughs> hitting. Put on the screen, Larry. Put on the screen, Larry. Thank you. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna look it up. What is the name of that show? It was the when they were like babies. No, 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 no. no. Was it Le that show? Was, I I watched that show a lot. Was it Legion of the Superheroes? That was the one from the 80s, right? No, no, no. I'm I'm right. It was this show from like 2000. Hold on. What is it? IMDb 2006. Was it? Yeah. Did you watch a show? I forgot. It was like Action League action league show or something and it was like just stick figures not stick figures action league now mm -hmm. and it was like action figures no never saw that it was on nick tunes let me send you a picture uh let's see real quick uh what the fuck it was like a spin-off of like uh that looks like Kablam, some adult twin shit it was on Nicktoons. It's like a spinoff from like it was like on, on a show on like all that in Kablam, which was like just a bunch of stuff put together. It looks like Robot Chicken. It, it it wasn't like it was it was it wasn't like it was like like it was like someone was holding them and moving them around. Like it wasn't like stop motion. 
oh that's bizarre that's that's, ca so that's good. creepy why i don't know that's weird in thought hold on have you seen this show legion of the superheroes i forgot this show existed until like very recently oh which what is it called legion of superheroes it was from 2006 um let me see it was uh I did not. It was watch like this. it started like a teenage Superman, and I hated it because my favorite superhero is Batman, and um, it didn't have Batman. It didn't have Batman in it. It was just Superman and a bunch of like weirdos who I'd never heard of. It's all about Crypto, the Super Dog. <laughs> Yo, my favorite episodes are <laughs> always the, the one where they had Bat Dog in it. The Bat Dog was insane. <laughs> Bat Dog was he just called Ace? Yeah, it was Ace, right? Yeah, Ace the Bat, bat Hound, bro. This is the, if there is any dog out there that had sauce, it's this one. Move out of the way, Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> that Lagoon. dog had so much sauce, bro. Let me put him up on screen. Bro, he had a cape, bro. I mean, Crypto had a cape, but he had a. Come on now. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up who are the voice actors in this show. Uh, see full cast and crew. Yes, please. Thank you, IMDb. Oh, I hate, this is the thing that I hate about IMDb is that they like sometimes they don't tell you who voiced who. Sam Vincent voiced who the fuck voiced Crypto. Bathound. Scott McNeil. What have you done, friend? That name sounds familiar. Is this picture does not look familiar though. It's like a cowboy on IMDb. <laughs> oh. Why is it taking so long to load? Is it taking long for you to load too? Yeah. yeah I don't know why. Why is he being hidden? Oh, he's a Goku? Oh, Piccolo. Hold on. He's a Piccolo, too. Uh, off, Has a phenomenal he's a, he's vocal a, range. Wow. Is he Ocean Dub Piccolo? Known for... They made a Geronimo Stilton TV show? Huh? Filmography. Geronimo Stilton was like a kid's book about a mouse that was like super intelligent or something. Hold on, he's on Dragon Ball Z Kai. Oh yeah, he's the Ocean Dub Piccolo. Ocean Hold Dub on, Piccolo. Uh, when was the Ocean Dub made? The early 90s, right? For Dragon Ball Z? Oh no, that was like the late 90s. Let me see. Um. Yep, he's the Ocean Dub Piccolo. He does a lot of games too. Dead Rising 2. Oh, we need to play Dead Rising. He does a lot of like not like side characters, not side characters like NPCs. Dragon Ball Z. What else is he in? The League of Super Evil. Never saw that. Oh. I've seen it, but like I've never, I didn't watch Inu it. He was in Inuyasha. Have you ever seen Inuyasha? No. Everybody says it's like one of the quintessential animes of all time. I watched the first episode upon my friend. It was an actually Anthony. Uh, um, upon his recommendation, and um, I didn't like it. First episodes of anime are usually like hit or miss. I think you gotta watch like, I think the sweet spot is five episodes. Um, to get into an anime, to know if you like it or not. All I know about Inuasha is that the main girl, hella cute. But which one's the girl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, how long is it, Yuasha? Let me see. Uh, Fifty-six volumes. How much is that in episodes? Yeah, anime television series. Uh, two thousand, uh, one hundred sixty-seven episodes. Jeez, and then final act time. is twenty-six. No anime should go beyond like a hundred. Ten. <laughs> At least it can't go past 200. Uh, um, let's see. Because I, I think Hunter x Hunter is like a good like... The... Um, Hunter x Hunter is a good length. Lupin's longest was 155. Sailor Moon went to 200. Exactly. And um... Sick. <laughs> it just barely passes. <laughs> and uh... Dragon Ball Z was like nearly 300, wasn't it? Yeah, but honestly, like a lot of those episodes could be taken out. I, I, I've never I, been I'm not talking who about really the minded filler. Not, I don't mind filler. I mind. 
I mind filler like Naruto filler that like has zero like it does it has zero to do with the story and it doesn't like it's not like a comedy like type shit. Hold on. Like let's say like Did you ever um Did you ever have a on your 3DS you had it. You have a 3DS, right? Yeah. Did you ever watch um the uh stuff that was on Nintendo Video? No. So, okay, I'm going to read what, what I'm gonna read some of the stuff which I remember. Dinosaur Office, which is by um uh Baby Looney Tunes was so sick. It was by a uh, College Humor. They had like a few Sean the Sheep episodes. Uh, Sean the Sheep was also good. What was that? Uh, what the fuck was the name of the Looney Tunes baby show? Baby Looney Tunes. No, it had a name. No, it was Baby Looney Tunes. I'm looking at was it right it really? now. Was it really? Yeah. What is the show that had a different name for the kid characters? Wasn't it? Uh. Um. All. It, not. Not all grown up. No, 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 no. It was another classic series. That was made into Muppet kids. Babies. There you go. That's what I'm thinking of. Muppet Babies. Uh, they had Right Back at You. They had uh, Kid Icarus, which was an anime, which they had Production IG and Shaft work on it. Holy shit. That, that's, a, that's a powerhouse right there. Um, the Legend of Zelda, The Misadventures of Link, which is just a bunch of comics. Um, Bravest Warriors. Which is by Frederator, which I never cared about. Um, and yeah, they had a few music videos. They had one by uh, The Fighter by Gym Class Heroes. <laughs> My Jim Parker partner's a monkey. <laughs> Bro, the Crypto and the Super Dog, the, uh, the, the voice actors are all from Dragon Ball. They have Vegeta as Crypto. Or not, yeah, Vegeta, wait, no. They have Vegeta as Streaky. Which was the Flash Dog? Mm -hmm. I never even Sam I Vincent. never even finished reading this. The Xbox Series X Lockhart. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so there's an Xbox Series S. So instead of yeah? Xbox this Sex, Xbox they have sex? an Xbox Sess. Sess? Yes, Xbox Sus. Um, what? Do, what? Let me look this up. Xbox. What are you looking at? Xbox. Uh, okay, as per our earlier information on Xbox Lockhart and the Xbox Sex, we're expecting Lockhart to be 4TF entry point to next-gen gaming. It should be effectively replacing the Xbox One X. The system is designed to be affordable, but will offer aspects of next-gen experience currently unavailable to past-gen consoles, presumably. Okay, so this is basically like the... <laughs> why, is it so, why is it so short? <laughs> um, <laughs> Bro, put up a picture of that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um... Definitely not gonna buy that though. I'd rather just buy the Xbox. Okay, if they're gonna make a cheaper version, how much is the Xbox Sex gonna be? Xbox Sex is gonna be five hundred. It has to be. No way they're not gonna make PlayStation a Four. The PlayStation Five's about around. It's it's. They said like five hundred around that, around that place. Are you gonna buy a PS Five? Yeah, most likely. I'm probably gonna buy an Xbox. That that will allow us to like play any exclusives on any, any, any of the Sunday. consoles. But isn't the Xbox not going to have exclusives? That's what I heard. I heard. Like, I'm pretty sure most of them are going to come out on PC. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Which That's what happened at, near the end of the Xbox One. Which I think it makes kind of sense since, like... Because they own Windows. They own Windows and also it enables them, it enables them to have, like, tell company... I think the architecture between an Xbox X and then the... A PC is so similar that it'll, like... It'll give developers... I'm pretty sure Microsoft will be like to developers like, Hey, um, you'll be working on a PC and Xbox port of this game, so you could have it on PC and console. So, like, why... why and also those games... Why go to PS4 or PS5? And those games are coming on the Windows uh, store. Halo Infinite. But those games... Halo... Uh, Halo is coming out... Or Halo Master Chief Edition mm -hmm. came out on Steam. So they're also partnering with Steam. Steam sick. Have you Steam go? Have you seen the breakdown of Epic the Game Store? Um, oh, hold on. AMD oh, announces its fastest Ryzen three desktop chips: the Ryzen 3 3100 and the right and thirty three hundred X. Hmm. 
I don't know, could be could be interesting. I think the the one that I'm installing in the PC is a Ryzen 5 2600. Remember when we were giving someone parts like advice and they said they wanted RTX? Yeah. Like they wanted one specifically for RTX. Isn't like the only game with RTX Minecraft right now? No, no, no. The, with, like, the true RTX is not the thing. They wanted a, the a graphics tracing. card that had ray tracing. And yes, Minecraft is the only one that has fucking ray tracing right now. <laughs> Minecraft. That means that they're like, that means like other games are not going to be able to run at all. Like they need to like, I saw the li li uh, Linus video mm -hmm. and he said like the most expensive Ryzen is the only, like, not Ryzen, but for the graphics card, the most expensive NVIDIA is the one that only like, is like for like gaming, like six, like be able to play 60 FPS and stuff. Yeah. I think it's the, it's the Titan, right? It's like $4,000. I mean, no, no, no the, titan, the Titan's not $4,000. Is it? The Titan? RX 5, 5,700? Wait, that's that's an AMD. Yeah, that's the AMD. Fuck? The NVIDIA card. I know what it is. It's a, it's a Titan, though. I think it's the Titan RTX. Yeah, I think it's the Titan RTX. I'm pretty sure that's like... I'm pretty sure that's $1,000 or $2,000. It's around there. <laughs> On Amazon, it's $2,500. Yeah, there you go. That's Amazon, though. Um... I, 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 I've never, I've never had an Xbox console, so. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'll th Xbox 360 was a banger. Xbox One. 360, 360 was a hit, dude. Except the UI. <laughs> UI was garbage. 360 UI was okay at first. Then it got bad. Then it got kind of okay. And then they changed it again to bad. What it was like the Windows 8 style, right? Yeah. Um, and the Xbox One had that Windows 8 style at the beginning. What does it have now? It's just like a really basic UI, right? Uh, yeah, it's like kind of just basic. It's still bad, but you know. The Final Fantasy VII remake has shipped and digitally sold over 3.5 million copies of in three days. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm glad people are still buying remakes. I just don't. I don't like Final Fantasy VII. Here, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say that in defense of that. Like, and I've explained it before. It's not that I dislike Final Fantasy VII. It's just that I don't think it's nearly as good as a game as everybody says it is. And I'm like that with a lot but of the games. The remake honestly. could be different and make you like it. Yeah, it, it, it very well could. Like, um, uh, a good example of that is Ocarina of Time. Everybody loves Ocarina of Time, and I'm like, I think it's just okay. Yeah, I think Ocarina of Time's okay, but I actually did was like, I, I really liked how like the puzzles were and like how in like, I don't know what it is compared to at the time, but I really like in like, I really saw like why it was seen as such like a, a, like a big step compared to other games at the time. It's definitely, it's definitely a groundbreaking game. I agree with that. I'm just saying that like, I don't, I, I, I hate, I hate the thought of people saying that like, this game is a masterpiece. The only game that I... And again, I've, I've said it before, I don't think it's perfect, but the only game that I would consider a masterpiece is the first Zelda game. Because to me, it set the ground rule of what an adventure game is meant to be like. And I can play that game forever and never get bored of it. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I think... I think the reason why Breath of the Wild was such a big hit is because it actually, like... It changed the formula a lot but because yeah. with skyward sword went, the breath of the wild went back to the formula of zelda one which is just like here's a sword it just explored like fuck you go have fun <laughs> because after ocarina of time like almost every zelda besides the the ones that were trying to emulate link to the past or yeah pretty much they were all, like all home console zelda games are ocarina of time and it, all portable zelda games are uh, bird's eye view. Yeah, they were like, it was. They really just copied Ocarina of Time a bunch and didn't try to change too much. Like, obviously, the story's different, but you go to dungeon, you do puzzle. There's probably like a mechanism that is equal to what the console you're playing on, and then that's it. You fight big bad guy at the end. At least, I think. 
at least with uh there's the whole I mean you could say that with the flying in in Skyward Sword but with uh, Wind Waker there is the boat you know there is the exploring on the boat yeah for what I'm what I saw on the map of it's barren dude from the barren it's, it's the barren. Skyward Sword map is there's like like some islands with self on it and that's it I I'd, I'd argue I've played both of those games. I've not played... <sighs> not played what? No, no, no. I haven't beaten Wind Waker on Wii U. I've beaten Wind Waker on GameCube. Um, I mean, it's basically still the same no, game. No, it's basically still the same game. But Just... um, definitely the Wind Waker... If you're ever going to get the Wind Waker at this point, um, the HD version is the way to go. There's so many quality oh, yeah, of life sure. improvements in that remake, well, a remaster, that it's, it's definitely worth it. And it's probably more easy to get than the GameCube version, but... If you want to emulate it, it's the game still holds up. Oh yeah, the GameCube game because of you know the style. Um, I would say, Skyward Sword is less filled than Wind Waker, but it's um, the map is smaller, so it makes it it gives off the illusion that there's more things to do. Whereas in Wind Waker, the map looks small, but it's actually really huge. Yeah. That's just thanks to, like, the boat speed and all. And, like, just, like... Any, even even know, using, like, like the, the fast islands. sail that they included in the remake, like, it still takes forever to get around places. And also, you can't just look over the horizon and see everything. Yeah. Where in Skyward Sword, you can see everything. You're, like, you already know what's up ahead. Where in, Wind, like, uh, Wind Waker... Uh, you don't know what's like you don't know which way you're going I mean you know where you're going like in terms of compass like north south but you don't know what you're going to stumble upon like I, I, I've had a I remember um, you know back in the day when people had to uh, before like internet was a thing like people had to like write down like maps and shit on like graph paper um, and trying to chart the fucking Wind Waker map is back. insane take me back to when I was writing uh, Vice City cheat codes in um, San Ange uh, Vice City story cheat codes on like a piece of paper to remember. <laughs> this is. Did you see this on Twitter? It's. Uh, I'm reading a headline from Game Rant. Um, a, a Twitch streamer. Even, even... Twitch streamer in Inva Dervi calls out her unsubscribed viewers and receives major backlash for shaming oh, yeah, financially unstable that. fans during coronavirus. Why? <laughs> Bro, like, fuck off. Like, no streamer should expect any viewer to give them money. In fact, you like, should, you should be telling people right now, hey, don't thank give you. me Just money. Say thank you. Don't give me money. I mean, yeah, that too. Like, this is rough for all of us. Like, I appreciate anybody who does give me money if you're financially able to do so. But, like... Like, she's allowed to work during these troubling times. Yeah, but, like, don't beg people for money. Some bullshit. I, well. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on, one more thing. We didn't talk about the. We haven't talked about the Resident Evil Four remake, right? That's a thing. Or, that, like that got confirmed. Remember, Capcom is working on Resident Evil Four remake. That was the. I sent it to you. We were like, bruh. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude! What? <sighs> like, I don't think it needs a, a remake. I think they should work on. This game, I don't, I, I don't agree with that. Like I know this game, this game, this HD remaster is fine, but like, it still could like use a remake to like make it fit with the other remakes in terms of look, because like, it's gonna be very jarring going to the two remakes. Cause this is um, I I I feel like people forget that like Resident Evil One has been released a shit ton of times, like already. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna pull up the thing very quickly before. Uh, and also, Resident Evil is like a 11 game franchise. There's many games you could like go for in terms of remakes. Why don't they remake the Outbreak games? Because those are fucking sick. People wanted uh, them to remake uh, Dino Crisis, which is on the Resident Evil engine, I believe. And it's just like dinosaur stuff. Oh yeah, it's on um 
Is it part of the... I think it's the same universe as Resident Evil. Dino Crisis? Yeah. We should play it. It's on um PlayStation 1. Uh, Let's see if they remake it. Hold on. Uh, here we go. This is Resident Evil. It was re-released on the PlayStation 1 three times. <laughs> so the original came out in 1996. They got the director's cut in 1997. Then they got the director's cut with the DualShock support in 1998. It came out for Windows Wonderful. in 1997. It came out for the Sega Saturn in 1997. And they ported it to the DS in 2006. <laughs> then the game was remade for the GameCube in 2002. What the fuck? I mean, how many times has Mega Hold Man on. been released? Hold on, dude. Listen. GameCube remake 2002. That was ported to the Wii in 2009. Then it was ported to the PS4. It, it, holy shit. PC, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. Then Nintendo Switch. What the fuck? Nintendo Switch. All right. It came with, it came in a collection with four and and six. All right, so or we're no. gonna cancel this uh, Resident no, Evil. No, Resident Evil Four play. came. We're into gonna cancel a... this Resident Evil series and play the DS version, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the only way we could do it. All There's right. a Game Boy Next Color time. version. All right, all right, yeah, we're, we're done. <laughs> Yo. All right. Take care, Coomers. Fucking idiots. Fucking dumb shit. Give us money. <laughs> support the support the Lucid Harlock Patreon. Harry, put it Larry, put it the link real quick. Thank you. It's just a right. just a bit. It's just a bit.ly to some fucking porn site. <laughs>